Our first exercise is the Smith Seated Shoulder Press. Begin by sitting on the bench, back straight, feet flat on the floor. Raise your hands grabbing the bar with an overhand grip, hands slightly wider than shoulder width. Lower the bar to shoulder level ensuring your elbows are bent at a 90 degree angle and your forearms are vertical. Push the bar up until your arms are fully extended but avoid locking your elbows. Slowly lower the bar to complete one rep. Remember to keep your movement slow and controlled throughout the exercise. Next up we have the standing crossover high reverse fly. Start by crossing your arms in front of you at approximately waist height, keeping a slight bend in your elbows. Slowly raise your arms out to the sides and up to shoulder height, forming a T shape with your body. Pause for a moment when your arms are at their highest point, then slowly lower them back to the starting position. Repeat this movement for your desired repetitions. Ensure to maintain control and a slow, steady pace throughout the exercise. Moving on to the third exercise, the seated front raise. This shoulder exercise is all about form. Begin by keeping your back straight and your core engaged. Now slowly raise the dumbbells in front of you, extending your arms straight out and keeping them parallel to the floor. At shoulder height, pause a moment, ensuring your elbows are slightly bent to avoid locking them. Then gradually lower the dumbbells back to the starting position, controlling the movement, not letting gravity do the work. Make sure to keep your movement slow and controlled throughout the entire exercise. Now let's move on to the barbell wide grip upright row. This exercise is all about technique. Begin by using your side shoulders to lift the bar, exhaling as you go. Keep the bar close to your body, moving it up towards your chin. Your elbows should always be higher than your forearms, driving the movement. Continue until the bar almost touches your chin and pause for a moment. Inhale as you slowly lower the barbell back to starting position. Repeat the movement for the recommended amount of repetitions. And next we have the lateral raise. Start by holding the dumbbells at your side. Keep your torso still, then lift the dumbbells to your sides, your elbows slightly bent, your hands tilted forward as if pouring water. Continue lifting until the weights align with your shoulders. Pause at the top for a beat, then gradually lower the weights back down. Repeat this for your desired number of repetitions. Remember to maintain a neutral spine and perform each movement with control. Remember to avoid any swaying or shaking throughout the exercise. Our sixth exercise is the incline rear lateral raise. This shoulder workout is a powerhouse of an exercise targeting the posterior deltoids, the muscle that rounds out the shoulder. To begin, lie face down on an incline bench, letting your arms hang straight down from your shoulders. Your palms should be facing each other, holding onto your dumbbells. Now here's where the magic happens. Keeping a slight bend in your elbows, lift the dumbbells out to the sides, and up until they're level with your shoulders. Imagine you're trying to touch the walls on either side of you. This will help you get the widest range of motion. At the top of the movement, pause for a beat. This is where you're contracting those shoulders, really working those muscles. Then, slowly lower the dumbbells back to the starting position. Don't let gravity do the work. Lower them with control. Repeat this process for the desired number of repetitions. Each rep brings you one step closer to those well-defined shoulders. Finally, we have the zigzag bar press. This is a unique exercise that targets the shoulders, but also engages the upper back and arms. To begin, adjust the incline seat angle to about 45 degrees. It's important to get this angle right, as it will help ensure you're working the right muscles and not straining your neck or back. Once you're seated comfortably, take hold of the zigzag bar with an overhand grip. Your hands should be slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Lower the bar to your chest, keeping your elbows close to your body. Then press the bar upwards against gravity, extending your arms fully but without locking your elbows. Slowly lower the bar back to your chest. This is one repetition. Repeat this movement for your desired number of repetitions, always maintaining control and a steady pace. That concludes our seven effective shoulder exercises. Incorporate these into your routine for stronger, more defined shoulders. Remember, consistency is key.